Testing one, two. I have a voice. Once upon a time, there were two worlds. One was a world torn by endless war, where strong lands devoured weak, and peace was a distant dream. Eventually, only a few great realms remained, glaring at each other across brittle borders. But then came a great king, one who would change this world forever. We'll be arriving shortly, Mr. President. Hmm. What in the world? Not an online game. This is a standalone single player RPG. How you doing, Focus Box Hero? I finally found my voice, turned it on. Chapter One, The Fall of the House of Tildren. Starting this game from the beginning, even though I played through most of it, up to a point. My Lord, the preparations are complete. Excellent, then let us begin. I think this is a cool story. What was that? Happened. I'm Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, King of Ding Dong Dell. Who are you? Never mind who. The question is where? Huh? huh? Well, now, would you look at that? This is the president who just escaped the nuclear blast. By some unknown Wait. means, he found his way into the realm of Ding Dong Dell. And he finds himself in a younger body as well. His name is Roland. He's one of the main characters in the game. Hmm. So this has to be a dream, right? Right. That or I'm... Let's see. Oh! Intruder! Somebody arrest this man. Where is everyone? 
Nella, Nella, where are you? Oh, she must be preparing for the ceremony. Evan says. Evan is our prospective king, but he hasn't been coronated yet. <sighs> Sorry, but I'm not really in the mood to play the little guy. Roland says. Excuse me! Dare you speak to me like that? I told you, I am a king. <laughs> sure, sure you are. Hey, can I ask you something? Am I dead? What? What? What the? What? What? What was that? An explosion? Uh, is this your doing, ask Evan? Hmm. Alright, forget about where you are for now. Roland is thinking to himself. Let's just suppose for a second that what that the kid said is true. So you're the king around here, huh? Yes, how many times do I have to tell you? All right. All right, Your Majesty. I'm going to go take a look around. Can you be a good boy and wait here for me? Hey! And here we have control. Normal WASB movements. Head downstairs to see what's going on. All right, let's go do that. Hmm. What the, what's going on? Oh. Ah, another one. Wait, use the mouse to move the camera and the middle mouse button to reset oh. it. This place is some kind of castle, but not one I've ever seen before. This is too easy. Halt! Intruder! You will go no further! Guards! Seize him! Hi. Ah. Ah. That noise! In there! That'll teach me to get trigger happy. They're not here to protect you. Get back. All right, we're going to use the sword to fight these guards. Close range attacks are divided into two types. Quick light attacks performed with the left mouse button. Slower, heavier attacks performed with the right mouse button. The amount of damage inflicted will be dictated by a combination of the attacking character's melee attack strength and the defending character's physical defense. You won't right, get away, let's see you! How this works. Alright, they are defeating. Are you okay? Don't come any closer, says Evan. Somebody arrest this man. Don't let him get away. <sighs> Open your eyes. Nobody's coming. Nobody good at any rate. It looks to me like we both need to get out of here. Says Roland to the king. What? What? What are you talking about? Hey. Can't you see? It's a coup. What? What? A coup? What the heck is that? Here. Oi! Have you found the boy? They hear a voice. Sir! No, sir. The men should be reporting in shortly. Come on, we're getting out of here. Roland says to the Evan. 
but, 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 but. Oh, all right. To strike while our enemy was preoccupied with what preparations the for the ceremony. Like. As a couple of, uh... Giant sea creatures on the left and the right. The designer of the throne is kind of have a cat-like motif. To strike while our enemy was preoccupied with preparations for the ceremony. This was a very clever strategy, strategy indeed, my lord. If only King Leonard had been less robust. He would have succumbed to the poison all the sooner, and our plot would have come to fruition all the more quickly. <laughs> what does it matter now? Did we not plan for just such stubbornness on his part? Thanks for hosting me, by the way, Focus Box. Um, what does it matter now? Did we not plan for just such stubbornness on his part? That's Mao Singer, the perpetrator behind the coup. King Leonard's untimely demise was effected without a hitch. Now the only obstacle remaining is the boy. Yes, my lord. And once he is eliminated, the throne will be ours for the taking. <laughs> it is time for mouse kind to assume its rightful place at last. Right, mouse kind. Just think about this. What was the calculation made by the program that ran on the earth? Was it 42? I don't recall, but the mouse were in charge, or the mice. The mice were in charge. It's time for mouse kind to assume its rightful place at last. <laughs> Mousinger, you have a wish Lord Mousinger, the boy, he. He's escaped. He's escaped. All right. What? What? No matter. We will find him soon enough. Oh, you think so, huh? Well, guess what? Or rather, There's the, dark the Black Knight. Knight will. The Black Knight will end it. Oh no, the mice have organized. Yes, they're on the march. And Evan... No. ...needs to find a new kingdom. Because Ding Dong Dell is no longer under his control. No. I guess this was the explosion we heard. Hey. You said your name was Evan, right? I'm Roland. And you're the king. King Evan? Well, yes, at least I was. I don't quite understand what's going on. Ding Dong Dell has been at peace for generations. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it has, but still waters run deep, says Roland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I should know I run a country myself. All right. We have to move. You need to get out of the castle and fast. Let's see if we can escape from Ding Dong Dell. I have a rat slicer and I have a sidearm 
with uh, apparently unlimited ammo at the moment. My quest is to escape from Ding Dong Dell with Evan in tow. Uh, these objectives need to be completed in order to advance the story. So let's make sure they're active. Get out of here, Evan. Follow me. Stop right there. Okay, we're getting some tutorial elements early in the game. And there's a lot of tutorials in you. this game. Break these because they drop some kind of orb sometimes. I think that's a healing orb. about them. The red uniforms, those mean they are elite guardsmen. Which means we don't want to mess with them, right? Well, perhaps if Nella were here, but... Nella? Yes! Yes, yeah, she's ever so strong and awfully kind. And she knows everything about everything. If she were here, we would have nothing to fear from the likes of them. Huh. She sounds like quite a woman, says Roland. But for now, it's just the two of us. Which means we need to take a different approach. Let's try to sneak past these guards. Alright, now the objective here is to move from bush to bush without being seen. Do, do you really think we can do this? Let's get control. Stick to the bushes and move quickly and quietly. Alright, here we go. Move. Uh, guard is facing this way. Let's see, can we get by now? Sir. Yeah, made it. Okay. Let's see if we can make it to the next bush without being seen. <laughs> All right. Level three mouse, Captain. Level one mouse guard. Mm. We got a level one mouse guard looking this way and he just turned away. So we'll move forward. Hmm? Level three mouse captain turned around. He heard something. Mm. Must be my imagination. Turns back around and we move on. <sighs> we 
We made it. <sighs> this place is a maze. These corridors look just the same as all the others. Hmm. Nella says it's to confuse attackers. Guess that makes sense if you're being attacked by outsiders. Yeah, that's Roland's logic. You can press the M to see a map of your location, but not in battle. Okay, we're heading for the gold star, I think. I just like breaking things. Looks like we need to go in here. And it's a trap. Oh no. Trapped. While control is held, the character you are controlling will block incoming enemy attacks. This will limit movement, but will also reduce the amount of damage taken. Okay. Use this command wisely, and you'll be able to reduce the damage from unavoidable attacks, or whether a flurry of blows while you wait for your chance to counter. Sounds You'll good. Go it now. Let's see how this works. And I leveled up. <laughs> there they are, Mouse Sorceress says. Who's a Mouse Sorceress? Let's find out. There she is, and you. she's got her own courtyage. Seize them. <laughs> Gah! Reinforcements, says Roland. Plants are so nice. Plants are so nice. Mm, they are nice. Let's see if we can defeat these guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the end of the road. There's Nella. Yes. Nella comes in for the killing shot. Up low. They're knocked out. Let's see what happens next. Aranella is her real full name. Oh, where did my mouse go? Thank goodness you're all right. Yes, thanks to Roland here. Roland? Mm -hmm. Let's save the introduction until after we've dealt with these guys. Okay, the up arrow can be used to nimbly evade an attack. While evading, you'll be briefly invulnerable. So if you time things just right, you can escape powerful onslaughts unscathed. Okay, but I never do actually use that command. I just kill stuff so fast that it doesn't matter. I don't have to evade anything. Thanks. We're lucky you found us when you did. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Nella. <sighs> I don't deserve your thanks. I should have reached you sooner, Evan. But today of all days, how could they? Who exactly are you and how did you get into the castle undetected? I'm Roland and I'm as curious about how I got here as you are. 
Roland, help me. He saved my life, says Evan. <laughs> Finally beginning to see reason, huh? You're a good hmm. kid, Evan. Very well. If His Majesty counts you as an ally, then so do I. Forgive my suspicion, I am merely doing my duty. My name is Aranella, and I have served as Evan's governess since his birth. You're not just the governess, though. You're a bodyguard, too. Yes. I suppose you could say that, yes, although I've never had to prove it until today. What's going on, Nella? Chancellor Mossinger has started a rebellion. He means to kill you. What? Mossinger? But he was my father's most trusted advisor. I must speak with him. I must make him see reason, says Evan. No. And Roland says, it won't work. This is no spur of the moment uprising. This thing was planned. If he says he wants you dead, he means it. But, but. Aranella, do you know of a safe way out of here? Yes. There is a hidden passage that leads to the sewers. I doubt many in the castle know of its existence. That door will lead us there. Objective updated. Search for the sewers. Find the entrance to the secret passage that leads to the sewers. Persia says, Your Majesty, you're all right. Well, she's one of the, the uh, she's one of the workers in the, uh, what shall we call it, the castle of Ding Dong Bell. Yes, thanks to Nella and Roland. Huh. No signs of fighting around here. Yeah. Mossinger's main target appears to have been in His Majesty. This part of the castle is far enough away from the royal chambers to have escaped his attention. Those of us who are injured or unable to fight have been gathering here for safety. I think the soldiers probably know we're here, but there's no way out. So they have us where they want us regardless. We're as good as prisoners. Oh my! Then I mustn't stay long. If I do, I will be putting you all into danger. Your Majesty, says Aranella. I don't know if these will be of any use to you, but I'd like you to have them. We receive. Five pots of Soraway, the healing herb. Thanks. Thank you very much, says Roland, even though he doesn't know what he just received. If you're not sure how to apply herbs of this kind, just come and speak with me. It's simple enough. We will, thanks again. Also use the uh, what is that? Sort of uh, the Sorway. What is this shortcut? I now see I have it in my inventory. Okay, I'm I'm not sure what the shortcut was supposed to be, but uh, going. To the menu should pause the game. Okay, I'm just gonna bypass these guys and move on. <gasps> What's 
that? Oh my gosh, it's the Black Knight! Who is he? What is he? I don't know, but he's Mossinger's that guy, that's that for Knight. sure. That was the Black Knight. He's on the prowl. We can't very well go running blindly around the palace. We'll have to stay here a while and keep watch. But who is the Black Knight? Hmm. Whoever he is, I don't much like the look of him, says Roland. He is Mossinger's most trusted and most seldom seen underling. Very little is known about him, but it's rumored that he gained great power through the use of forbidden magics. Whatever the truth of such tales, one thing is certain. If we face him, we will die. Oh. You mean not even you can beat him, Nala? Then we'll need to be doubly careful not to draw his attention, says Roland. Hmm. Yes, yes we will, says Aranala. We can start by making you a little less conspicuous. Huh? Roland needs a new outfit because that suit is just out of place in this world. So he gets... Ah, a uniform. Say, how do I look? So we obtain an important item. Oh. Oh yes, it suits you very well. <laughs> I like how this guy has a long ponytail. I think that's cool. You should count yourself lucky. There was something in your size. And uh, Evan's cat ears are just... He's hes a crossbreed, obviously. Oh, and you'll be needing this. I noticed that you don't have one already. What is it? What is it? What is that? That is something with gems. It's called an arms band. It's for storing and transporting weapons. It allows the wearer to carry a variety of weapons with them and to call on any special skills with which they are imbued. Wow. Wow, this little thing does all that, says Roland. Now. That's sort of yours. Unless you equip it into your arms band, you won't be able to call on its full potential. I'm going to hand you another one. You'll need to equip that as well. You obtained a broadsword. Slightly better than a rat slicer, we hope. All right, so both swords need to be equipped to the arms band. Got it. Do you have any other weapons? Well, there's my pistol, but I'm pretty much out of ammo. Not to worry, weapons equipped to an arms band will have their ammunition replenished automatically. This is magic. For the first time, um. Roland's learning how it works. They, they will, but... Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. I would suggest that you equip your swords and pistol to your arms band right away. The equipment and skills menu can be accessed from the main menu. On the melee weapon tab, you can equip up to three melee weapons to your arms band, allowing you to switch between them in battle. Only one ranged weapon can be equipped. On the apparel tab, you can equip various clothes, armor, footwear, and accessories that will affect your party members' physical and magical defense. 
On the skills tab, you can assign spells and abilities your party members have learned to the skill pilot, allowing you to access them quickly and effectively during battle, close, tutorial. Okay, I think my my uh my, my band was equipped. Let's see. Remember how to control this game. There's my sidearm, my broadsword, my rad slicer. Okay, I've only got one Roland in my party here. Okay, I'm looking for the button that opens the menu. That's the map. Okay, let's see what we got here. Each character has five numerical parameters which indicate their various strengths and aptitudes. Melee attack strength tells you how powerful any attacks and abilities using close range weapons will be. Range attack strength tells you how powerful any attacks and abilities using long range weapons will be. Magical attack strength tells you how powerful any magical attacks or abilities will be. Physical defense tells you how resistant that character will be to physical attacks, which will affect how much damage they take. And lastly, magical defense tells you how resistant that character will be to magical attacks, which will also affect how much damage they take. Parameters are calculated based on a character's natural stats plus those of their equipment. Not all weapons can be used by everyone, but armor and accessories can. Okay, so each character has his own set of weapons. Let's equip the broadsword, the rat slicer, and the sidearm. Okay. At the moment, I don't think I have any equipable items to use and I haven't learned any skills yet so I'm done let's see what it says about weapon switching we're gonna use something called semi-automatic switching why is that important because you want to use the best weapon that you have available and it builds up power as you hit targets. When you have multiple melee weapons equipped to the arms pack, you can switch between them with F. F key. Okay. There are various reasons why you might want to switch weapons, but the main aim is to try and always be using one whose zing gauge is as close to 100% as possible. Your weapon zing gauges are displayed next to them in the top left of the screen and will gradually fill as you land blows on enemies. You can choose between three settings which will govern how weapon switching is performed manual, semi-automatic, the default, and automatic. In manual mode, you will need to press F every time you want to switch weapons. This mode is aimed at advanced players who want maximum control. In semi-automatic mode, you will automatically switch to a weapon with high attack power or zing after a skill is used but will also still have the ability to switch manually. In automatic mode, you will be unable to switch manually, but can be sure that you are always using a weapon with high attack power 
or zing. This can be helpful for beginners. Your weapon switching setting can be changed in the equipment and skills menu and also by pressing X while in battle. Find the setting which best suits your style. There are a few more details to do with how the zing system works that will also need to be explained, but this can wait until after you've learned some skills. Alright, how are we going to learn some skills? Alright, that's everything equipped to your arms, man. Right on, Aranel. Equipping multiple weapons to the band will allow you to switch between them quickly and easily, even in the middle of a battle. So if you happen to come across any more, be sure to put them on there. Thanks. Thanks, I will, says Roland. Alright. Evan, this is for you. Evan's Essentials, the important item. Gosh. What is it, Nella? It's not exactly the best quality, but it's all I could throw it together at such short notice. It should be enough to help you get by for now. I put an arms band in there for you, too. As long as I'm with you, I'll try to see that you don't need to use it. But if anything does happen, I need you to promise me that you'll stand up for yourself. Evan! You cannot give up, do you hear me? Hmm. Uh, of course, Nella. Nobody knows who put them there or when, but the mysterious stone mine known as Waystone can be found all over the world. Simply examining one is enough to restore all your HP and MP and to heal any status ailments you're suffering from. And all for the amazing price of absolutely nothing. They also allow you to save in location where it's not possible to do so via the main menu. So if you see one, be sure to go up and take a look. From the main menu, press Z or press Alt and open the save screen from the system menu. Bear in mind that it's not possible to do this in dungeons. All right. Why is it even there? I don't know, but uh, where are we going again? Oh yes, let's follow the line on the map. The mini map in the upper right hand corner tells us that we should be going this way. Where is he? says Roland. Not here, luckily. Now's our chance. Okay, the Dark Knight is gone off somewhere. But look at all those soldiers. I think no surprises there covering the exits of standard procedure in a situation like this. The entrance to the sewers is down the border on the far side of the courtyard. Says Aranella. Alright, we need to sneak through. We need to sneak through there. Okay, let's sneak. The entrance to the sewers is in that room. 
Somewhere in this room, hmm. there's a secret door. Just an ordinary room, says Roland. An ordinary room with a secret door. There's a switch around here somewhere. I've never used it myself, but I believe it's hidden in the bookcase. Aranella knows where to look for the switch. And finally, click! She Gosh. opens the door. Gosh, look at that, says Evan. <laughs> hey, this is like something out of a movie. What is a movie, says Evan. Now. Alright, let's get moving. It's dark in here. Tread carefully. Hey, I got a trusty sword. Don't worry. I'll protect you, Aranella. Nella? Why would Mossinger start a rebellion? Is it because I became king? Oh, Evan. No. I doubt it, says Roland. In my experience, these things are never quite that simple. Aranella, I couldn't help noticing a certain species divide between the two sides in this conflict. As if there could be more than one species in the world. Yes. Yes. Relations between the Grimalkin and the mice have never been entirely civil. Sadly, King Leonhard did his best to heal the long-standing rift between the two, but... Let me guess, things didn't go so well, says Roland. Oh... Father, son... Ah, Evan... What have they done? You'll have to forgive them. It's all still very raw. Hmm. I can imagine. By the way, Evan, there's something I have to tell you. It's about your father. Chancellor Mossinger poisoned him. What? What? Poisoned him? No, he died of an illness, Nella. A rare, untreatable illness. Not according to Mossinger's bodyguards. I convinced one of them to talk. They put it in his food, a little at a time, so no one would suspect the truth. <sighs> to make it look like he was sick, huh? They must have been planning this for some time, says Roland. <gasps> how, how could he? Hey. I know this must be hard, Evan, but we have to keep moving. Come on. All right, let's move on. <sighs> Escape Ding Dong Dell Castle via the, via the sewers. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. It's a twisting, winding path. Look at that. What is this glittery thing over here? Let's see. Oh, it's an item lying on the ground. You can pick up glittering objects and you never know what you're gonna get. When battle begins, the battle area will be established and you will temporarily unable to move outside that area 
until you have defeated all enemies and won the battle. Alright, this is boring stuff, but to escape from a battle, move to the edge of the area. The escape gauge will fill, and eventually you'll be able to flee. Returning to battle or taking damage will reset the gauge. This will be over soon! We're fighting goo, level 2 goo. Obviously, they're just sewer creatures. We have a victory. Let's get this glittery thing. And uh, let's save the game one more time. Hey. I thought it would be a straight run for the exit once we made it down to the sewers. Things seem, seem things won't be quite that simple. I'm afraid not. We may no longer be in danger from the soldiers, but with all these monsters around, we'll need to stay on our guard. All right, Aranella. You took to the arms band quickly enough, Roland. Why don't we see how you do with some simple skills? Huh? Simple skills? Skills? What do you mean? Mm. If you'd like to close your eyes for me, Roland learns flatliner skill. Okay, whoa, what did you just do? I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of casting a spell on you that will, let's just say, loosen up a certain potential that lies within all of us. Now you'll be able to use any skills your weapons might have which should make things a good deal easier for you in battle. Press 1, 2, 3, 4 to activate the skills assigned to the skill palette. You can also hold tab to check which skills are currently assigned to the palette. Okay. Using the skill will consume a set amount of MP. Each character has a different amount of MP represented by the MP gauge that will gradually refill as you attack enemies. Furthermore, if the Zing gauge of the weapon you're using is full when you activate a skill, the effect of that skill will be boosted and may even be different altogether. Activating the Zing effect in this way will reset the Zing gauge to zero so it's not a good idea to keep a weapon with a full gauge in reserve so you can swap it in. So it's, oh, it is a good idea to keep a weapon with a full gauge in reserve so you can swap it in when needed. Okay. Well now. Let's get that right. I see, interesting, Roland says. He's never played by these rules before, but he, He's starting to learn what they are. And that is the thing that really matters about Roland's position in this game. You seem to have a head for combat. Get a few more battles under your belt and you'll learn even more skills soon enough. So this is all new to Roland. But for now, let's try out what you've got on some of these monsters, shall we? Okay, let's see. Flatliner skill, I tap the one key to use it. It has to be powered up. I'm not going to save at this point. Because I feel confident that I'll make it out of the sewer without getting killed. Let's pick up the, oh, there is a treasure chest, but I can't reach it yet. That looks interesting. More glittering objects. Uh, let's see, what's up over here? More glittering things. And, oh, a treasure chest. But they seem to be guarded by skeleplasms. 
let's try to defeat these guys and get that treasure. Leave this to me. <laughs> I obtained not a broadsword, but a blue broadsword. All right, let's try to stick that onto my arms band. Why can I never remember which key it was? It's supposed to be Z, right? Ah, it's T. Okay, T is the key. That gets me to the main menu, equipment and skills. I've got to equip the blue broadsword, which has an attack value of 33 compared to 29 for the broadsword and 22 for the rat slicer. I want to put my most powerful weapon in the top slot and work my way down from there. All right. So let's put the blue broadsword, the broadsword, and then the rat slicer. Okay, there we go. That's the setup that will work. Let's check items one more time. I've got soar away. That seems to be, what, what have I got? I got an iron nugget, a crude sap, a base bone and fresh wonder water these came mostly from the glittering things that i picked up okay so i'm trying to pick up every glittering thing that i see and look there's more and more guards You haven't Let's even begun to see how complex this game gets to be. At this point, it's just a little escape to the outer realm of whatever this line would happen to be called. It's not Ding Dong Dell. Ding Dong Dell is just one kingdom or city in the land. I obtained Leave a dollar from Cruise Sab. I never really block because they never get one off on me. Only the bosses are really hard. These guys are kind of trivial at this point. I don't know why it worked out that way, but it did. Leave this to me! Not far now, Evan. What do we got? A loaf of bread! Loaf of freshly baked bread from a treasure chest. So far, I haven't even tried to use my flatliner skill. Looks like it might be available. So 
So it's a little bit of redundancy and running back and forth to pick things up. You're not hurt, are you? But we know we're gonna need all these items no. later in the game. We're not quite sure at this sure. point what they're for. Uh, let's see, here's another treasure chest. What do we got? Some sore away. Nice. Okay, that's a healing item. I can't go down that water into the tunnel. Won't let me walk into that water. And I remember we saw a chest over here, right? Okay, well, let's get the chest. One hundred guilders. That's money. A sack of money. All right, guilders are the currency of the realm. They just happen to be called guilders. I guess they could be called anything you want. If you were the game designer, you could make that decision anytime that you'd like. You probably have a group of designers who sit down together and decide what elements they want to include. But, uh,. Yeah, that's the way game development usually works these days. It's not re it's not really possible for one person to do all the work. In most cases, in a, in a game like this, you need a lot of different skills to uh, create the artwork, design the three-dimensional body avatars. They, they, they very carefully thought out what they wanted their characters to look like. All these things were taken into careful consideration by the actual game designers. I don't recall their names at this point, but I'm sure you could find out by looking for the game on Steam. Okay, I just went to the bridge and the cutscene began. I left a chest behind and I didn't get it. So let's see what happens here. But how could this have happened, Aranella says. Looks deliberate to me, says Roland. The bridge is out, which means they knew we'd come this way. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is that? Mossinger? There you are, your majesty. Much as it pains me, I'm afraid I must ask you to relinquish your life. <coughs> oh, God. Mossinger? It is terribly unfortunate, I can see. Okay. But your Sorry illustrious line coughing, ends but... here, today. <sighs> there is nowhere to run. Come quietly, and you shall not suffer long. I'll hold him off for as long as I can. Get out of here. Go. Now. But, Nella... Just go. You are the kingdom's last hope, Evan. You cannot die here. <laughs> Roland knew exactly what he Nella! needed. Nella sacrifices herself to save the king's life. 
Or does she? Well, we're going to find out later on in the story what happens to Nella. <sighs> we made it just. Good thing we had water Nella! to land in. Nella, we have to go back. We can still... No. Roland says, calm down. If we go back, we'll be captured for sure. And she'll have given her life for nothing. <sighs> given her? You mean she's... I, uh... I think we have to assume that much is true. Well, come on. We need to keep moving. Hey. Why do these games inspire me so much? Because they're moving pictures on the silver screen that I can influence and control. They're far more interactive than in a movie in a theater, which makes it much more exciting. If you haven't tried a video PC game, you don't know what you're missing. But it's not a complete waste of time, I guarantee that. what that does yet. And another soar away. Punishing Cutlass, Dark Broadsword. Whoa, Fiery Broadsword. Where did all these weapons come from all of a sudden? I don't recall picking them up. Let's equip the fiery broadsword. All right. In second place, we have the broadsword. And in third place, we have the cutlass. All right, we don't have another sidearm. We're pretty much done equipping our gear. Let's see what that sixth sensor does. A pot of enchanted incense surrounded by curls of mist restores magic power. Okay, MP is called magic power, but it really powers the skills of our weapons and not magic spells, it seems. But uh, for Evan, they are spells. Roland is uh, much more of a secular guy. Save your progress so far. Okay, this time I'm gonna save. I'll just save over the same spot and just use one spot. I won't be able to roll back my progress. 
A way out of the waterway, this save is called. A way out of the waterway. Alas, it seems Aranella wasn't the only one who knew about the route through the sewers, and she's forced to put her life on the line so that Evan can escape. He's desperate to go back and help her, but Roland forces him to see sense. And the pair make their way toward the sewer exit, which is close to the hand at last. Press onward and try to help Evan make it out alive. Okay, let's do that. Hey. Black Knight now. has caught up with them. The Black Knight. Marson. Okay, this is a boss. Watch your back! This, this is a killer boss. Can Roland defeat the Black Knight? Let's see. Okay, let's continue. The Black Knight huh? looks a little bit weak. Is he done? Not yet. Sorry, but the fight goes on. The true form of the Black Knight is revealed at last! And what is its form? You ready for this? How did he... How did he... Forbidden magic Nello warned us about. Oh my gosh! Can we defeat this thing? It's even worse than we thought it was in the first place. My skill. Oh, I missed. What is this? He's using a spell on me. Look Some out. Kind of breath. Look out, Evan. What? Aranella is still alive, and she takes no! the full force of the blow. And Roland reacts with a gunshot to the eye, which topples the beast. Nella! Damn it. Damn it. Wake up, Nella. Please wake up. Evan. You'll be a wonderful king. But... No one could ever replace your mother. But... In our time together, I have... I've come to think of you as... I know, Nella! I, I know! I had hoped... I, I would live to see it. To see you grow into the ruler. I know you will be. But... I can't! I can't do it! Not without you! I just... I can't! Of course you can. A tender moment. You have a good heart, Evan. Between a boy and it. his... You'll be the stepmother, kindest king. Let's say. With the happiest subject the happiest there have ever been. Aranella! Aranella. You have to be strong, Evan. You have to... Build a kingdom... Where everyone... Can live happily ever after. Nella? Please no. don't go, no. Nella. Nella. Don't leave me. Nella. Nella. Ah! 
Those are no. genuine tears, my friends. <laughs> Even though it's only a video game. I'll, I'll do it. I'll try. For you, Nala. We'll build a new kingdom. Where everyone can be happy. I hear something. This way. Huh? Is it there? Evan, we have to leave. Uh, Nella! So some of this is voiced, and some of it we have to voice reading the text. Uh, just a few cutscenes are well voiced. So, uh, what is this but a dream of Evans? What's happening? What's the matter, Evan? You look sad. Oh, I just spilled some drink. I have to get up. Okay, let's continue. I... I lost someone special. Someone I thought would always be there. Oh, that is sad. But for every ending, there's a new beginning, you know? Really? Of course. You lost someone special, but you also met someone new, didn't you? You'll be making lots more new friends very soon. <laughs> who knows? You may even meet someone who really will be there forever. Which isn't to say things will be easy. Life is never that simple. The beginnings and endings, the hellos and goodbyes, every step on the journey comes with its own challenges and rewards. I suppose... Listen to me talking like a wise old man. Sorry, these aren't my words. They're someone else's. Someone very special. Who? Um, I have to go now, but I'll come and visit you again soon, all right? Bye. Wait. Finally awake, huh? Let's mm. see. I had a very strange dream. Not a nightmare, I hope. No. Alrighty. Where are you going? To clear my head. I need to feel the wind on my face, says Roland. Come on, let's have a little talk. Oh. All right, says Evan. A king without a country has just been thrust forth into the world at large. But he's still a king. And that's what matters. Save your progress so far. Yes, I think I will. Now, technically, you don't need more than one save slot for this game, I think. But you might want to 
backtrack to some point. Uh, here's obviously they had a fire pit going and uh, let's see what else is going on here. Looks like I need to go this way. If I look at the mini map in the upper right hand corner it's directing me to Roland. He's catching Roland. a breath of fresh air. So I really am in another world. There's no Ding Dong Dell where I'm from and no view like this either. Gosh! What is, what's it like where you're from? Huh. I guess it's ahead of this world in some ways and behind in others. Hmm. Nella used to tell me a story, you know, when I was little. It was about another world, one very closely connected to our own. I always imagined it was just a fairy tale, but I suppose there must have been some truth to it after all. So I got lost between these two worlds and wound up here. Does that mean there's no way home? asked Roland. What did you do there in your world? I was... Eh, a king. Collie. What? Uh, well, a president, it's kind of the same thing. Kind of, but not quite. Which means I have a little extra experience when it comes to running a country. Oh. Really? Then perhaps you might be kind enough to share some of it with me. Things may not be quite the same here as in your world, but still. But still, what exactly are you planning? asked Roland. A quiet life in the mountains might not be such a bad idea, you know? Not exactly. No, I've made up my mind. I'm going to keep my promise to Nella. I'm going he to build a kingdom determined. where everyone can Look live happily eyes. ever after. Look at that stoic stare. You are, huh? Hmm. Good for you. I've made my mind up too. I'm staying here, in this world. With you, Evan. You are? Oh. And thus, young Evan, though heavy of heart, resolved to honor the dying wish of his dearest friend by becoming a king once more. And Roland, sensing something special in his youthful companion, decided to join him on his journey. This place is called Hideaway Hollow. Save complete. Let's move on. Let's hear Chapter the rest two. of the... Chapter 2. The Kingdom to Come. The Kingdom to Come. Alright. How does Chapter 2 begin? If I'm to become a king again, I'll need to convince a kingmaker to help us. A kingmaker? What's a kingmaker? Yes, a monarch must have the power to serve his people. A kingmaker is a magical creature blessed with great power. By bending one to his will, a king proves that he is worthy to lead his nation. Well, let's see, we see a, a dragon and a lion with a staff, and, uh, is that, the king is the lion and the dragon is huh. what? So it's a mark of authority, says Rowan, and, uh... Yes! Yes, but not just that. 
It's also a guardian in times of need. It can come to the nation's aid. A single kingmaker has the strength of an entire army. Now, am I borrowing a lot of story from this story to, for myself? Yes, but how was it inspired? It was inspired in the same way that I was. We just happen to have a synchronicity going on here. It's mere coincidence. Is that so? I'm guessing they're pretty big. Oh yes, some are the size of a castle. Well now. You don't say. And you mean to tame one of these things? Wait a minute. You were a king until just recently, right? Well, shouldn't you have one of these kingmakers already? Not exactly. Well, my father only died a month ago, you see. We hadn't quite got around to that part yet. So I was never a true king, not really. Hmm. If the ceremony had gone ahead as planned, I would have my kingmaker by now, but of course, it didn't go as planned. Hmm. I wonder what's happening with your kingmaker now that you're out of the picture. Let's find out in the next cutscene. Looks like Mousinger has the Kingmaker now for Ding Oaken Dong Heart. Dell. Kingmaker of Ding Dong Dell. Oakenheart, Kingmaker me. of Ding Dong Dell. As the rightful ruler of this realm, I As stand recognized. For you. Your new king! Yeah! Alright. Right. Looks like someone's happy about the situation. I see, so in all likelihood, Mousinger has taken control of your Kingmaker already. Yeah, which means I'll have to find a new one. A new Kingmaker for our new kingdom. And where do we find one exactly? There can't be too many of these things. Well, it's a really surprising creature that pops out of this story when we get there. I think we might have a chance of meeting one if we visit the King's Cradle beyond Cloud Coil Canyon. And yes, this is going to be a long trip getting there. Huh? The King's Cradle? Hmm. It's a holy place where a kingmaker is enshrined. Every kingdom has one. How many kingdoms are there? So if a kingmaker happened to be with loose ends, we could visit them at their king's cradle and try to convince them to sign up with us. Exactly. And if the stories are true, there's a kingmaker in the place I mentioned, which is yet to be claimed. Curiouser and curiouser. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, says Evan. Uh, one moment. Evan's essentials unlocked. Let's get him equipped. Oh, he now has a red cape. Now I can fight beside you, Roland. <laughs> Well, all right, but take it easy to begin with, okay? The party menu can be accessed from the main menu. You can use the P shortcut when not in battle. You can use the party menu to decide who will take part in battle and who you'll control first in combat. 
this will be whoever's at the top of the list. So you can only control one party member out of a possible three. I'll just let you in on that little bit of fact. Oh! Look, a trip door. Huh? A what? A trip door. They're found where the energy of the land is especially strong, mostly near landmarks. If you touch it, it will sort of remember you. And that means you can return to it whenever you like. Not everyone can use them, though. You need to know a certain special spell called Travel. Luckily, Nella taught it to me. So you're telling me you know how to teleport? How come you didn't use this spell of yours to get out of the castle? Well, as I said, you need to have visited a trip door in order to travel back to it. And well, I've never really spent much time outside the castle until now. In fact, this is the first trip door I've ever seen. Huh. Of course. Well, let's visit as many as we can from now on. These things are sure to come in handy, says Roland. Yes. Yes, let's. Shall we begin by having this one remember us? Okay, how does this work? There we go. To find trip doors dotted all over the world, simply walk up to one and press E to have it remember you. When you have a trip door remember you, it will be added to your trip door map, allowing you to travel back there instantly from anywhere in the world. You can access the trip door map by pressing N. You can also use N to switch screens from the detailed view of the map. Okay. I think I understand that. Uh, let's make sure Evan is equipped. Evan, if you're going to lead us, you have to be properly equipped. What has he got? Looks like he's got... A magic wand for a ranged weapon. Doesn't look like it's a very strong weapon at this point. He can use a cutlass and a broadsword. So, uh, what's a dark broadsword? And a punishing cutlass. Well, those are just variations on a theme. So let's equip the cutlass. The Dark Broadsword and the Punishing Cutlass, are they ordered in the right order? Okay, Roland has the more powerful weapons, so I'm going to choose him to lead the party. Uh, Evan has an old cloak, which has defense parameters on it. We have King Spin, Fireball, and Water Balloon as our primary first skills. They're all at level 1. They use a certain amount of power whenever they're called upon. Uh, we could read exactly what they're supposed to do, but I don't think it's necessary at this point. They, they do something good. Let's just leave it at that and move on. There we go. Okay, Roland's at the top of the party now. But uh, Evan's avatar is going to be used. Okay, we're moving out to the greater land of... What is it called? What's this little thing in the, in the corner? Oh, what do we got here? More monsters. They're randomly scattered across the land. And we're going to encounter some as we move to anywhere. 
What's a whamster banger? Level three. I probably couldn't avoid that fight. Anyway. Watch your back. Because they are aggressive. Now, if I fail to pick up anything, it'll pop out when the battle ends. There it is on the ground. I can pick it up. I got sacks of cash. Gilders, Gilders, a piece of shaggy fur. Uh, let's see what's in this box. Oh, a sack of cash. Look like we gotta fight some green goose and... Whamster Clanger, level three. Let's see how tough they are. Come on. Okay, this is a whole party of monsters. Each type of monster in the game poses its own special threat. They have their own specific defense. They may be weak against one power and strong against another. If they're mixed in parties, you may not be able to use the same strategy. Oh, choppy old cloak. It's blue. It's a blue item. Let's see. I think Evan can equip that right away. Yeah, this is slightly better than the old cloak. However, it doesn't change his outward appearance. Now, Evan has skills I'd just rather have them auto-triggered. That's why I keep rolling on top, because rolling is much easier to control. Watch your backs! Okay, I'm gonna try to advance the story as quickly as possible. And maybe I can avoid some of these random battles. But, uh, you're picking up good experience by having the battles. And eventually you're gonna level up. So there is a valid reason to have these random battles. You ready for this? Okay, this is a surprise attack. So it may behoove you to run around the landscape and seek out these random battles just so you can pick up items, XP, rewards, Whatever you manage to get. Oh, here's a level five hedgehound. That sounds a little more difficult. Let's see. Is it aggressive? As soon as it, I get it within range. No? Okay, there it is. It detected me. I had to get Come very on. close. Yeah. These hounds. Hedgehounds.
Games are so good for us. We never know what we're gonna learn until we've played Come on. They all teach us something about... Rules. Sets of rules that we... We, we cannot contravene some rules and some rules can be bent in the story and uh, some things I can jump we can do things oh what is this what is what's this? going on here oh, what did I ever do to you I ask oh my pretty goodness oh, you rotten devil of a thing you Evan mm -hmm. come on now this is the curious thing about this game. Some monsters can fly, making them tricky foes to deal with as it won't be possible to hit them with your regular melee attacks while they're in the air. They need to be brought low with mid-air attacks, which can be performed by unleashing a regular melee attack while jumping. Ranged attacks from guns, wands, etc. can also be useful in this situation and certain skills are also effective against airborne enemies Come on! but here's the thing what are these funny little critters let's get some heavy blows heavy blows heavy blows use my skill okay now it's flying and it knocks He's coming us. back! What are, what are these little... What Gosh. are these dope boys? The, oh, Look at these too. critters. Oh, you two. You can see my little lovely You can see my can little you? lovely skin. Why not have them Imaginary friends! My little lovelies. During battle, during battle, Hagledies will automatically back you up by attacking, defending, healing, and performing various other actions based on their type. Sometimes they'll give you the go-ahead to issue special orders that will see them perform incredible super-powered skill. Just run up and press E to activate them. Certain other Higglies will allow you to absorb them by holding down the button for your character's spells and abilities, thereby changing and improving their effects. You can check how many Higglies of which element will be necessary to enhance a skill in this way in the Equipment and Skills menu. Experiment to find some killer combos. But at the moment, we're not going to have any killer combos because we don't have any to mix and match with. We've only got one. One Hagley. Jump! Knock him down! Okay, let's see what the Hagley's are up to. They're helping out in some way. Okay, here it is. The Higgly get. Go, Higgly, go! Excuse me? Are you alright? Evan. Oh my. oh my. That was a close one and no mistake. I don't know what I've done if you two lovely boys hadn't come wandering by. I'm Martha, by the way. Auntie Martha, to those I take a shine to. And I'm pleased to say I've taken a shine to you. Come on then, we're going to my house. I must give you a little something to say thank you. Righto. 
and you come. All right, let's go inside. We don't have a choice, but we're going inside. This is advances the story. Nope. Get and the look what's in the house. Gently. Oh my God! Yeah. How many higglies are there? There are literally dozens of different kinds of higglies in this game. They all do special things. Thanks ever so much. You two really did save my bacon back there. I never expected to see a wyvern so close to home. Honestly, a girl can't even go out picking herbs in peace these days. Uh, so these little creatures of yours, are they monsters? Are they monsters? Oi! Oi, you cheeky so-and-so! No, they are not! They're, well, they're more phenomena than anything, I suppose. Phenomena. Okay, what does that word mean? Phenomena? That's right, dear. There's the wind, isn't there? And fire, and rain, and such like. They're all natural phenomena. And when those phenomena decide to grow heads and legs and start running around being adorable, they become higgledies. So where were you off to when you got waylaid helping out old Martha anyway? We don't often get visitors around these parts. We were on our way to the King's Cradle beyond Cloud Coil Canyon. And still, we have a long ways to go before we reach the Kingmaker's Shrine. <gasps> no, really, just the two of you going into that den of despicable sky pirates. Sky pirates? Huh? Sky pirates, one says. Okay. We have to, says Evan. Well, no. Have to, dear. Absolutely, positively have to. Hmm. Well, absolutely, positively yes, says Evan. <laughs> well, in that case, you'd better take some of my little lovelies with you. How many are we getting? Really? Higgle Piggle, Higgle Piggle. Runcible is one of the Higgledies. They all have names. You really don't mind? Certainly. It's the least I can do. You've shown me that you'll treat them kindly, and best of all, that you put them to good use. Thank you. Thank you very much, Annie Martha. It's like reading a story, isn't it? It's a video game and a story on a silver screen with moving pictures, background scenes, and special effects all rolled into one a story which I can somewhat control but uh, let me tell you it goes a certain way and that that's the way it goes I have no control over that the people that designed it decided what the story was gonna be and that's what it happens to be. Uh, even Evan is bound by his own destiny. Wonderful, and if you ever have any questions about them, you just come back and ask me, you hear? Principle the Righteous has decided to join you on your adventure. Pigalists can be selected and their parameters checked via the party menu. Okay, I'm not even going to read that right now because 
As a matter of fact, I've only got one Higgledy out of the possible four. You can have four equipped and many, many on standby. Feistiness, attack power, and hardiness, defense. The feistier, the more damage they'll deal, and the hardier, the less they'll take. Okay, these parameters can change as they level up. This one has 105 attack, which is more than we have. It has an ability called Scrap Scrap. There, there, Sonic Tonic. Higgledy Boom, which is, I think, the cannon that we saw. Okay. So I can find out more about Higgledy's by talking to Martha. Take a look around. Talk to the Higgledies. Okay, they don't, they seem to have a language of their own. Let's try this little guy over here. What does that one look like? Okay, let's, uh, let's move on. We got a long way to go. Okay, when do we get to the Kingmaker? Uh, when should I stop? Where should I stop the stream? Let me think about this. This, this could be, this is a pretty long story. And you can't do it all in one session. You have to break it up. Here goes nothing. Okay, I didn't use my Higgledies, but Notice they're here. They're present for every battle. They can take part or not, depending on what I do. Some of them will do their thing automatically. You ready for this? Evan using one of his skills. I don't know why he triggered it when the battle was already won. But, uh, let's see, where are we going? Say. <laughs> oh, yes, they're real. I'm half from Alcon, you see. He just asked how about Evan's cat ears. Cat ears are real. He's half Grimalkin. Whatever that happens to be. I know there's a chest back here, so I'm coming back here to get the chest. Some chests cannot be reached, but even though they may be visible. And let's look at the map. Uh. Okay, we see we're trying to get up to uh, a gold star on the map. So we got a general idea of where to go.
I really hate to pass up the glittery things. The glittery things are so Careful important everyone. later on. <laughs> But uh, it's a long while, and it's a long while ahead into the future before they. Okay, what is this? Level 10 Whamster Clanger, and it's red. You know, it might not be a good idea for me to fight that thing. So let's try to uh, let's try to get around without fighting. Texas. Okay, we can't avoid this battle. You ready for this? Let's say some some encounters are best to be avoided. When you're when you're young at heart in the game and your level is not high. So, we'll move on. I don't want to trigger that guy. Uh, Skeletoplasm. Yeah. Probably make me stronger if I fight these you guys. You ready for this? <laughs> Oh, Roland was defeated. I wasn't paying attention to the cell. Evan has to finish him off. Okay, we have Roland's up again. All right, here he comes. Let's check out his situation. Uh. Looks like our party leader has changed. Yes, it has. Let's put Roland back in front. Looks like they're both down on health at this point. So let's use some Sorrow Way. Uh, should I use the Sorrow Way or wait until I get to a save point? Let me think about that. Where's the save point? It's over here somewhere. It's really kind of dangerous to walk around with only one hit point. So, uh, there's a cloud passing overhead. Obviously. Uh, let's check his items. Let's go ahead and use the Sorrowway once, once for Evan. Okay, that fully healed them both. And let's move on. Now, if you don't have Watch enough random encounters, you're not going to be strong enough later in the game. Cloud Coil Canyon. So we have to make it through this valley to reach the King's Cradle, huh? Hmm. Yes, and that's not the only challenge we face. The King's Cradle is at the other end of Cloud Coil Canyon on an island near the Heartlands. Uh -huh. So we'll need to find the boat, too. The boat? I'm afraid so, says Evan. 
but we must worry about that later. First, we need to make it through the valley. Hey. Hmm. Cockwell Canyon is home to a notorious band of sky bandits. That was a trip door. Which is a way of fast traveling around the world. And we've got Hello a there. Grimalkin merchant. So this is a Grimalkin. We can see what they look like. This one's a little overweight. Oh, hello there. Well, now you don't look like sky pirates. Thank goodness. Would you be interested in making a little purchase? Perhaps I have some lovely fresh herbs in stock. Let's see. Fresh herbs. Well, now. What's the merchant doing all the way out here? Well, it's quite a story, actually. You see, I was based in Ding Dong Dell, but there was a little political trouble over that way. And now the mice are in control. The mice. Okay. I didn't much like the look of how things were going, so I made good in my escape while I still could. Oh! You're, you're from Ding Dong Dell, you say? Hey! Indeed, I. Hey, uh, now wait one second. King Evan, you're alive! Everybody on Leaf Book was saying you'd been killed, so I just assumed the rumors must be true. Okay, I'm gonna actually stop the stream about after I get done with this dialogue. What's Leaf Book? Is this some other kind of magic you guys have or something? I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea, says Evan. You've never heard of Leaf Book? Why, it's the greatest place to find the latest news and gossip from all over the world. And the device for accessing it is the hottest new product from the technological wizards over at Broadleaf Inc. Interesting. Sounds like Facebook to me. Sorry, just listen to me launching into my sales pattern. You have to forgive me, old habits die hard. So there's some kind of device we can use to get the latest information from all over the world. Sounds pretty useful. Do you have any of these things for sale? How much are you asking? Oh, they're a snip at 10,000 gilbers. Well, I can assure you we have not collected that much coin by now, but it sounds like it sounds like we're gonna need one of these things. Well, I suppose you have just been through rather a tough time. Your Majesty, a nice discount would probably be just the thing to cheer you up. Oh, a discount. Let's see now. Yes, I think I can let you have one for absolutely nothing. It's going to come in awfully handy and well, it's the least I can do under the circumstances. That price is a good price. Really? You're sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Glad to be of service. You obtained a leaf book viewer. Important item acquired. Thank you. I'll take extra special care of it, I promise. Farewell. I'm sure you will. 
And if you ever want to repay the favor with a purchase or two, I certainly shan't say no. Well, that sounds reasonable. Leafbook is an information sharing service provided by the technological wizards of the land of Broadleaf, which allows people from around the world to share news and opinions. Yes, it does sound like something we have in the real world. To access it, simply open the main menu, select library, then pick it from the list of options that appear. You'll be able to access a treasure trove of thoughts, opinions, rumors, and speculation about all the latest goings on. Be sure to keep an eye on it for all the latest info. Okay, you'll receive pop-up notifications when new posts appear. As long as you're not in battle or certain other situations, you can press H to view them instantly. As long as you're not in battle. Okay. Let's see what we got on the news. LB Leafbook Moderator. Devotees of the royal doings of Ding Dong Dell are in for a treat as the new king gets ready to forge a king's bond with the mighty Oakenheart. Will young Evan meet with the kingmaker's approval? What does the future hold for the kingdom? So many questions, unknown commentator. I can't wait to see Oakenheart in action. I still can't get over King Leonhard's death. Yes, he was a great king. What a tragic loss. Will Prince Evan be alright? He's just a boy. Will he really be able to forge a king's bond? Uh, what is a king's bond, anyway? Seriously, you don't even know that by now? It's forged between a king and a kingmaker. Oh, that, yes, we learned about it in school. It's almost about to begin. Can't wait. Well, that was just one story, and it was flagged as new. Uh, we got a grin on that one. Finally, the big day arrived. Hansel says, It's a terrible shame about the weather, but we can't let that distract us from this truly historic day. King Evan is all set to forge a king's bond with Ding Dong Dell's kingmaker, Oakenheart. I just can't wait. I want a picture of Oakenheart in midair. Um, did anyone else hear an explosion? There's smoke coming from in the castle. What? Are you serious? The ceremony hasn't started yet, has it? Maybe there's been some kind of accident. Or could we be under attack? There are soldiers running around outside. I need to know what's going on, says Hansel. Well, let's see what the rest of the story say. LB Moderator says, Unbelievable news is emerging from the palace of Ding Dong Dell. Apparently, the late King Leonhard's most trusted advisor, Otto Mossinger, has seized power, and the young heir apparent, Evan, is on the run. Seriously? And Ding Dong Dell? How could the Kingmaker let this happen? This cannot be true, but nothing ever happens in Ding Dong Dell. Well, how many times have you heard that about heaven? Nothing ever happens. It's perfect, and it can't be improved upon. Well, if you're in Ding Dong Dell, please post. What will become of young Prince Evan? Things cannot be looking good for him. How can this be happening? I was supposed to be going there on holiday. Ding Dong Dell is done for. Let's not panic yet. We have to wait and see. Okay, that guy sounds reasonable. Cindy May. My grandmother always told me, Cindy May, if you ever have something you don't need, Try offering it to a Higgly Stone. It'll be worth it, I guarantee it. Well, I followed her advice and nothing happened. I have seen one of these myself somewhere. I hear they can be found all over the world. Oh, so there's a Higgly Stone. And something might 
happen if we find one. Let's see. Nature's the world of leaf book. Filippos. I have just tried a leaf book for the first time, and I cannot tell you how much I enjoy the LB moderator's comments. Just who is he? How does he know so much? Does anyone have any idea? He's basically the reigning king of leaf book. There's nothing he doesn't know. Yes, he always gets the news first, and he really knows what he's talking about. I heard a rumor he invented leaf book. Well, either way, I never miss his post. Okay, sound familiar? Let's see what this is. Kitty, the ultimate fish sandwich. Kitty says, if you've never tried the sardine sandwiches from Q in Ding Dong Dell, you've never lived. Once you've had one, you'll never wonder. You'll wonder how you ever live without them. Now I want to visit Ding Dong Dell. So it's just some bread and fish, basically. Yes, that's about the size of it. I can personally vouch for their tastiness. Eh, there are some tasty flavors in the world. Yeah, very tasty flavors. Okay, so let's look around. I've got my Higgledy. I don't want to advance the storyline at this point. I just want to go back and save the game. But what's this? There's a Higgledy standing here. Piggle, piggle, pig, pig. You obtain three heroes' delight. You obtain an Autonian purse. Autonian purse? Is that money? I'm not sure yet what it is. Pig, pig, higgledy, pig. Are you joining me, higgledy? Come on, I want to be a companion. Ah, 300 guilders, that is a sack of money. And we'll go ahead and buy our necessary items when we come back. Maybe tomorrow I will continue the story on this stream. such a long story and there's so much to tell. I haven't even found the end of it myself yet, so I don't know how this story will end. I've only played up to a certain point. And I'm pretty sure how it goes up to that point. So. Version 2.01. Uh, it was created by Level 5 Inc. It's called Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. All rights reserved. Published and distributed by Bandai Namco. Entertainment America Incorporated, all rights reserved. Okay, that's enough about that. Let's quit. Bye now.